first thing we're going to do here is we're going to compare David um, to Sir Nick. Uh, that's some similarities. What we're really going to look for here is the ability of Nick to reroute his hands back to the starting point. So we just draw the line here at the starting point for the club shaft, and then we'll take it down from his shoulders down to where the hands meet the shaft. Uh, then over here on the right, we'll do the same thing with David. We'll bring him in, and we will draw the shaft plane in and the arm plane. Okay, let's start with Nick here on the right. Nice takeaway, the hands stay right on the swing plane. Right about here, the club is blocking our view of the hands. Club comes up raises in a nice position, heads very, very quiet, and you'll notice right now the lead forearm is parallel to the swing plane, and that's what we're looking for. Then he's going to reroute the club back down again, he's going to drop it back in the slot. Notice how the club is coming down. You can see barely that the club head is pretty far behind him at this point. Still down, and now he's returned the hands right back to the impact point, almost to the point where it's hard to tell if he's at setup or at impact. Now we'll watch Dave here on the right. Got a pretty nice takeaway also. Kind of lifts the club though. Do you see the difference? Instead of having the hands low where they were at setup, he's already lifted the hands up well above the plane, continues to lift them, and ends up here with the forearm on a pretty straight line down to the ball. Then he's going to come a little bit over the top. There's the move right there. That's why his hands don't get back to the starting position is because he's coming outside with the hands and he's making an impact several inches above the shaft plane. I think we need to work on two things. I think we need to get him to take the club back low and slow, which means the hands will stay on the white line instead of lifting up immediately. And then he's going to reroute the hands back down from the inside, back down like this, so he can get a nice swing instead of that over the top move right there. And then he ends up pulling the club left, and you can see that elbow flies out behind him. We'll watch Mr. Faldo here. Swings through pretty easy. Still don't see the elbow. Here comes the club. Still don't see the elbow. Still don't see the elbow. Now we see the elbow, but it's still in front of him. You can see that David has pulled his elbow in behind, and that's because he's coming over the top. So there's two things we got to work on. we got to work on taking the club back low and slow, and then dropping the hands back down towards the ground before we make our turn.